Hi everybody, happy Sunday. Here we are again on day three of our um, January daily. Coming along, I, I really like the two pages that we've got in the book so far. And I'm loving seeing all the pages that uh, you've done yourselves. There's some fantastic work out there, there really is. But just, just to impress on you, I don't, I think some of you got the wrong end of the stick as it were. It's not about doing something that I like. That doesn't, it doesn't matter whether I like it or not. It's doing something that you like. And all I'm giving you is a, a, a prompt one prompt and as long as you use that you can use whatever else you like you know I take on board shabby chic yeah okay that's a style you know so you kind of just a little bit of shabby chic you know it's got to be the whole thing but yesterday the toadstool mushroom thing use it as you wish you don't have one great big giant mushroom a teeny tiny little one whatever um and just use it as as you want to use it. Do, you're not passing an exam or anything on it. It um, it's it's hopefully at the end of it going to be a book that you can look through and have some ideas from. You know that you think, oh yeah, I quite liked when I did that. I might try that again, but move that there, whatever. Just so you're going to have thirty one pages of ideas and places to store your take fives in. And that's about that. So let's get on to what we're doing today. And today, <laughs> it could be anything. It might even be all of these things. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but today I have decided to go with green theme. So let's put a circle around that. And put the third. And... I've kind of chosen green theme because I thought it would perhaps go with that a little bit, make quite a nice page spread. Uh, so I have been influenced by that, definitely. The other thing is I actually wanted somewhere, you know, I wanted to start putting my take fives in somewhere. So I thought that, I mean, this is ginormous, isn't it? So this is what's influenced my thinking today. Esther, if you're watching, I think you missed the start usually, but if you watch this back, I think that even with little ones, the looseness of green theme might be quite nice for them. You know, I mean, I don't know what age they are, but it might be a bit of an adventure even finding something green if they don't know their colours yet. So I think that's um, quite an open one if you want to do it with, I know, I think it's Flo does quite a bit with her uh grandchildren um and nancy i know you do but your girls are a bit um a bit older i think but you know just use the green theme in any way you like i am merely giving you a suggestion so don't private message me saying oh do you like this do you not like this i've had so many private messages of people it's fine if you like it that's all that matters so let's move on and what I am going to do is do an envelope. I'm going to make the whole page into an envelope. So at the end of it, I can slot that in. So my take five is nicely in there, which is what we intended the book to be for in the first place. So what, what I've done is I've double printed a piece of uh, A3 card. Now I know not all of you have A3, but then again, not all of you have a book the same size as this. Not all of you will have a take five that's as humongous as this either. So, you know, you may just want to um, put a mat on the whole page and then make an envelope that's, I don't know, four inches wide, whatever. Um, work around it, see what you can come up with. So I've cut this off. Well, I thought I'd cut it off at the width of the page, but I haven't. I don't know how I got that so wrong. Um, so I just need to need a piece of paper really to put under there. So we can see the size of the problem. Right. So this measures, well, eight and three quarters. So I'm going to make my envelope eight and three quarter inches wide. So it's going to be the whole page 
whole page is going to be an envelope. Eight and three quarters. So just I have got a longer ruler, but it doesn't fit on this very messy table. I hope you're enjoying this series. And I hope it's not kind of weighing too heavy on you, worrying about whether you're doing it right or not. Of course you're doing it right. I don't think I need that. Right, so the next bit is... Have a look. So this is kind of directional. The flowers go, this is the bottom of the stem and this is the flower obviously. So I kind of want them to go that way. So I'll make this the bottom. Yeah, I double printed it, but it was a bit of a mistake. Um, but never mind, that's in the relevance. So I want this to come from the bottom and leave enough space to get that monstrous card in and out. So I'm, I'm going to leave about, well, I'm going to do about an inch and a quarter, actually. Something like that anyway. Yeah, see what that measures and then I can tell you. I don't know what that was, flying away, something or nothing. Um, yeah, it's an inch and a quarter. How about that? So I'm just going to trust that the edge of that is straight and fold that along there. Thank you, my love. That's my prompt page. Right, so let's just um, crease that in. So now, so now it's got to be good <laughs> because we've creased it in. And, yeah, that all fits nicey-nicey. Lovely, lovely. So now I want to fold this over and I'm going to make a string and button enclosure on here. So I want this to come over level with the top. Well, you know, just a smidge in. Smidge. Let's just make sure I've got that straight. Uh, right, let's see what this has got to say for itself. So I hope you're all having, well, I hope you're all well, first of all, and I hope you're having a nice weekend. It seems like we've had two weeks of weekends. <laughs> I'm glad today's Sunday and tomorrow's Monday and hopefully things will um, revert to well, I was going to say normal. They aren't going to be normal for us here because um, we're in a lockdown situation. It's amazing, isn't it, how normal that sounds, you know. Oh, we're in lockdown. A year ago, if you'd said that to somebody, they would have thought you were mad. Just saying. So I don't want, I don't want to don't think all this length here maybe to about there let's have a look and see that's where that comes to so i want it to come over but not much about there i think i think that will look nice we'll give it a try and see Right, let's have a let's have a look at that and see. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice really. Got two roses there. They'll be interrupted by the button and string malarkey. Um but yeah, I think that's fine. And it fits on the page quite nicely. Come on, we're doing alright. So I'm just gonna chop that off because I don't need it folded over. I've done this on quite thick card, so it's um uh, it doesn't need any additional support. I can't really see where I'm going down that side. I think that's it there, yeah. Okay. Right, let's have a look. Yep. 
Yeah, well, we've got an envelope already. So soon we have an envelope. So I think it's time for a roll call. A roll call, you say? A roll call. Starting at the top, Janya. Hiya, Janya. How are you getting on with your sewing machine? Let us know. Jean. Hello, Queen Jean. Nice Hilda. to see you. Hello, lovely Hilda. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. Deborah. Hello, Deborah. Our lovely admin. Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Hope you're feeling a wee bit better today. Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Benice. Hello, Benice. Donna Cook. Hello, Donna. Julie. Hi, Julie. Loving the videos from Camellia Crafts. Shaz. Hiya Shaz, hope you're all right. Leslie. Hello Leslie. Oh, Leslie is doing the most amazing project at the minute. I can't tell you what it is. She'll share it when she's ready, but it's looking really good. Sharon. Hiya Sharon. Roz. Hiya Roz. I hope you're back in your craft room and behaving. Carol Vaughan. Hello Carol. Carol Dosley. Hello Carol. Hope you're not snowed out in Bulgaria. Flo. Hello, Flo. Tony. Hiya, Tony. Violet. Hello, Violet. Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Jan. Hi, Jan. Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Kathleen. Hello, Kathleen. I think that's it. If I missed you, Wow. Out. I'm not seeing anybody that you've missed. That's quite amazing. Miranda. Hello, Miranda. She just popped on, has she? No, she was. Oh, she's yeah. She's there. You've just missed her. Oh, no, well, you know. Right, come on, guys. Let's get going with this. What I'm going to do first is ink around it. Now we've got, we've established the sort of size and whatever. I'm going to ink around it. And I'm just using my, you know, we've had a lot of people join us recently. I don't know if any of you look at the figures, how many uh, members we've got and such like. But a lot of the people that have joined us, they have to answer three questions. You know, do you sell your journals? How long have you been making junk journals? And do you agree to abide by the rules? I think are the three questions. And it is amazing how many people come on there and say they've just started, absolute new starters. And I think it would be easy to get carried away, you know, when you're doing, when I'm doing things like this, to not explain to you what I'm doing and I know that for a lot of you you know you really don't need it explained you know what's going on but if you're a new starter you're probably thinking what, what what's she doing why is she doing that so what I'm doing at the moment is called distress ink and I use distress ink you can use any ink any ink you like just find a color you like um, and I'm using at the moment one of these wooden dobbers the, the stuck on with Velcro so you can remove them and put another colour dauber on there so you don't keep up to buy the wooden bit. Um, Strada Creations. Strada Creations. Hello Strada Creations. Um, and then you just sort of flick it onto the edge and it gives the page a bit of a distressed look like that. So what I'm also going to do is just Turn that over like that and just go in that crease. Because the idea is you want it to look like it's sort of old paper. I'm just going to come down that bit a little bit there where you're going to see it. There we go. Okay. Right. So the first thing that I want to do is put my um, ring thing on there because uh, I want to put something on the back of it to save anything catching on the back of the brad. So I need to work out where the middle is. Um, and kind of where I want it. So I want it about there, I would say. So this is eight and three quarters. So half of that is four and three eighths I think four and three eighths might just come down a touch more so make sure you square along the bottom and everything's right and measure put your spot at four and three eighths and that's going to be the middle of our string and button enclosure 
Now then, the next thing that you're going to want to do um, is make your mark here for, for the other part of it. And if you haven't got a clue what I'm talking about, it'll all become apparent. I hope. <laughs> I hope. I have done a live recently that was a total debacle. So it's not, wouldn't be beyond the pale that um, I'd get it wrong. <laughs> so that's now in line with that. So it's centered and I want it um, sort of halfway down there really, which is one, two and a quarter, so one and an eighth. So about there. Right, so what I've done is I've marked two uh, dots in line with each other like that and in the center along here. This one's also in the center of this placket and this one will be where the string and button enclosure goes. Enclosure, closure. It's not a zoo. Right, so I'm going to cut out my, um, I must have put my circle punches away. No, I didn't. So where are they? Hello. Oh, put them in the box. Right, so what I'm going to do is use some um, green card. Do you know where the dark green card went? Oh. I must confess to having had a little, thanks ever so much, to having had a little go at this before now, <laughs> because... Um, it's ages since I've done one of these and I didn't want to look a complete note of tulip. So with with card, it's better with card. You can use paper, but you have to stack them up to get a, a you know a thickness that's um, that's nice. So I'm gonna cut out four of these little ones. And oh, I must have want that. And I want two of two of. I mean, these are really large. I don't even know if that's going to fit on there. I'll give it a try in a minute. Let's cut out one of these and see if it's going to fit on where I want it to. Because they are pretty ginormous. But I haven't got any other circles. Have you, you haven't got one smaller than that, have you? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Oh, great. I'll have two, please. Uh, in fact, I'll have four. Oops. Oh, marvellous. I'd say that's about right. That's marvellous. Well done. Are you all right? I need a drop one. Oh, thank you. Four, four, four please. Yeah, that's better because these are um, a little on the large side. But I've only got two circular um, punches, that one and that one. So, oh, sorry, you want the card. It's hard to do it without the card, isn't it? Difficult. Difficult. So whilst we're um, <clears throat> waiting for Mr. F to kindly do that for us, I'm going to talk to you about numbers for this one today. And I've got a die that's got all these really large numbers on it, which I love. They just, <clears throat> they just appeal to me. It was a die from my friend Ali. It was £1.82 delivered. So it's, you know, it's neither here nor there, is it? Do you want it? I don't know. For 182, I'll think about it. So I'm I'm going to colour that in something, I think, probably. Uh, although it would look rather nice on there, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, but I'm not getting that size anymore. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to colour it and put it sort of up there. Something along those lines. Right, while we're waiting, we can get on with these smaller ones. And let's just glue two together, straight forward. So pop that on top of that. There's no back and front to my cardstock, but there might be to yours. So <clears throat> just give it a check. All right, that's fine. Let's stick these ones on. I'm kind of getting the hang of that now, Tony. Thank you very much. My sugar bell. 
<coughs> excuse me, my sugar bell bottle, which ran away with me the first day that I used it. It completely did run away with me. Lovely. So I just set them aside to dry. Thanks very much. I'm not sure if I need another. Um, so I'm going to stick two together to go on there, two together to go on there. And I also want one to fit on the back of there and the back of there. So yeah, I need another two, please. So I'm going to stick these together as well. Just wondered if you could see what I was doing there. Seem to be quite far down the table. Right, that's enough for you. And I realise at the moment, those of you that have never seen this done before, it's a bit of blind faith. <laughs> I haven't really got much clue what's going on. Um, don't worry, because I have got a bit of a clue. And I'm much happier with this size um, of the circles. Well done, Mr. F. Right, so, so far we've got four pairs of circles, slightly different sizes. And they're just sitting there drying, waiting for their day in the sun. Now these smaller ones are probably a little bit dry by now. So I'm going to poke a hole in the centre. And this is just... I'm, I'm just eyeing it. I think that's about right there. Thank you, my love. That's marvellous. And the same with this pair. It doesn't matter with these ones if you're not absolutely in the centre, but it does matter with the other, with these ones, because you'll see these ones. Oh, so let's hope that I can... Sorry if my head's in the way, but I've really got to look. Does that look like it's in the centre? Yeah. Just put a dot in. Yeah, I think we're all right. So with your pokey tool, give it quite a big hole. And I might just use that as a template, actually, because I think that's pretty near the centre. So I'll just go in through the other one. There we go. Right. Whew. Right. Okay. They're done for good or ill. They're done. I'm not exactly certain. They are bang in the centre. Um, I'll get that out again. I need to make a hole where we've marked the spot for them to go. So in there. And on the top, in there. So you'll see that I'm using, I, this is actually a piece of yoga mat. You know, that mat that you'd carry around with you on your back to let everybody know that you're a yoga person. Um, this is in the charity shop. And we just cut it up. And it's great for stamping on. It's great for anything where you want to protect your lovely board, like this board that Hilda bought me. And I love it. I live in fear of getting it messed up. Um, right, okay, so we need uh, a brad, two brads actually, so let's have a look in the brad department. <laughs> I've got one or two, but let's see if there's anything that's, I think these are beads rather more than brads. Oh, no, the brads. Right, let's have a look then what there is. There's a lot of buttons there. They're definitely not bad. Got these big ones. It's slightly strange colours. Mm, nice. oh, I've only got one of those, that's a shame. Um, okay, over here, I've got that light green. That's quite nice. That would go with that. Yeah. Let's see if we've got two of those. Yep, we have. And they're quite they're quite robust ones, these. They're not see next to the other one. The the legs on these. Hello. 
are longer. So they're quite robust. They'll hold in what we want to hold in. See these dinky ones here? Tiny, teeny ones. They're nice, aren't they? Um, well, we'll just have a little flick through my uh, brad department, shall we? So I've got this one as well. And this has got all sorts of things in it. It's got shiny ones. Those ones. Ones that look like splodges. Flowers. Um, <laughs> these are funny ones. They're kind of furry, they're like velvety, and one's a foot and one's a hand. I don't know, it'd be quite nice if you're making like a baby journal or something, I guess. Uh, gold stars. Mr. F deserves one of those. Um, he, always, he just always does. Uh, a nice flower one. Oh, look at this one. Handbag. Huh. Um, oh, that's a nice one teal sparkly so yeah that's kind of all that's in there shut that up it's the last thing i want is all these coming out in my drawer and uh, this one hi helen hi helen people are saying they wish you could have a rummage in your drawers uh, well that's why i'm showing you what's in my drawers so you can kind of see um they're nice but they're square so I don't think they're going to fit with it. Virtual them. rummage. Yeah, I have a virtual rummage. Smaller squares. They're quite nice too. quite like them. Uh, I've got hearts here. Got lots of hearts. Uh, they're all squares. These are all stars. Uh, these ones are flowers. I'll hold them up and then you can have a look yourself. I mean, there's enough in this one box to keep anybody going for the rest of their life. And I've got these. I don't know what they are. Julie, do you know what these are? Do you just put them on like you would put on a eyelet? No, like you'd put on a rivet. I don't know about rivets, do I? have got some... They're really nice. I love them. This one says friends. Look. And they're metal and they say nice things. I like them. And we've got these sparky ones. Grandma! Here. There you go, Kerry. One for you. Like that. Right. You put that through the paper then to that, the back of that and oh, squeeze I them see. together. Oh, I see. And it rivets on. Oh, I think I've dropped. Oh, no. All right. Okay. So now I know I, now I, know I can use those. Brother, friend, 1993, uh, celebrate, create, grandpa, grandma. Brilliant. You'll be seeing those soon. Now I know how to use them. I'm not exactly sure what all this is. Who knows? But never mind, it's in there. So that's a rummage through my uh, grab boxes. Now back to the matter in hand. <laughs> Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little one of these. Um, I really need to make my hole larger. I'm wondering whether I should use the crop dial on the small setting. Do you think that would be all right, Mr. Yeah. Um, it's smaller than the head of the brad. Yeah, bigger. it is. Yeah. The brad's bigger. Yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to punch these through with the smaller setting on there, and that, I think I'll, that will make my life easier. Yeah, and the, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so I'm going to punch all of those then, not the two that you've got for the back, which I don't know where I put them now. On the top. Oh yes, not these two that you're going to stick on the back. Don't punch a hole in those. The whole idea is that they don't have a hole in them. So I'm just quickly going to do this. And same with the larger ones. 
you could probably punch through them all at one time but I'm not I'm being cautious lovely 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 right let's assemble these so we need a, a smaller one and a larger one and a brad oh I didn't put I didn't punch a hole in that come on what's wrong with you today you're just being silly yes I'm just being silly fair enough so that one and this one. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We are making progress. Might not feel like it, but we are. Right, so. I want a little one, a large one, and a brad. So that goes through there, that goes through there. And the, what the little one does, you can add more little ones actually if you want to, but it just moves this away from the card a little bit to allow the twine to go round. That, that's um, the idea of that. So brads, they're kind of like split pins. I mean, they are really. Um, and on the back they have these two legs that you just push out, press down, and that gives you a, a nice firm hold there but we've got room we've got room to put our twine through so I don't think that needs a bashing I think that's uh, good enough and then we're going to put one of these over the top of it just so when you're putting things in and out you don't catch it on these metal uh, legs there we go Ooh, I've got a lot, a lot of glue there. It's just bragging about how I'd got the hang of it. And I obviously haven't. Got squeezy happy again. Got squeezy happy. So I'm just pressing this down on all sides because it's kind of uneven because of the um, the brad legs. Press it down and the glue will catch and stay put, hopefully. And while that's thinking about sticking, we'll do the other one, the one on the top. So once again, you want to make your little sandwich. The little one, the large one and the brad. <laughs> Come on. Oh, found it. I thought it was playing devilish tricks on me there. So through there, through from the front side to the back. A small one there. Mm -hmm. you get two. Yeah. You put small one. Yeah. I was just so slick you didn't see it. It's true. So fold those out like that. Get your nice protector bit that's not sticking. I'm going to have to use something a bit stickier. I'll place that on there, but I don't think it's going to stick. I think I'm going to have to get my E6000 out. It's thinking about sticking, but not thinking hard enough, I don't think. So I'm just, round the edge, I'm just going to put a bit of this E6000. Get my yoga mat out in a minute and then I can press down the same on this one. Right, so if I get my yoga mat out, it'll make life a little bit easier because I can push down into it and get that nice and flat. As I've said to you a million times, this E6000, it's not an instant grab. So you've kind of got to hold it or peg it or 
something for a little while. Not long, it doesn't take, you know, it's not like glossy accents that takes the rest of your life to dry. What glossy accents? Whew. I love it, you know, I love what it does, but um, it takes ages to dry. Got quite a bit of glue out the side here, but a bit of friction and it'll come off. Just balls up and comes off. So don't worry if you've got glue where you shouldn't have. It's the least of your worries, really. Right, so there we are. I think they're pretty uh, solidly held down. And then when you flip up that top flap, you see that it doesn't offend. It's quite nice to see. Um, right, OK. So we need the string on it, but I'm not going to put the string on yet because it's just going to be a pest. It'll be a pest if I do. So then the next thing I need to do is I'm going to make a gusset for it. Now, those of you that follow me regularly know I'm partial to a gusset. <laughs> I, think, I think they're useful things. Um, and in, in this case, because this is the whole page, we're not going to have, if, if we just saw that in flat, we're not going to have any room here. So we're going to make a gusset. I know, it's really exciting, isn't it? But you can't hardly contain yourself. I'm looking for some card of some description. I don't really, I'll okay. use a piece of this, is what I'll do. This all came from the Paper Mill Direct uh, here in the UK. I'm just checking that it's twice the length of that, which it is. Um, paper Mill Direct in the UK, they're really well worth looking at. They do some really nice paper, lovely cards, envelopes. Envelopes, I know. I've got so many. I can't help myself. I cannot help myself where envelopes are concerned. It's an illness. It simply is. Right, so what I'm going to do is this. Put it on my scoreboard. Now, those of you that haven't got a scoreboard, you know, you haven't been doing it very long and you haven't got the tools, don't worry. All you need is a ruler. If I had one, I would show you what a ruler looks like. <laughs> ah, thanks, Mr. F. A ruler like this or plastic, it doesn't matter. Hold it on where you want it. If you want it a quarter of an inch, half an inch, whatever and use a, a butter knife or, or a dinner knife that's got a rounded end, you know, not a not a steak knife, no. And not the sort of knife that you cut your vegetables up with. Um, yeah, this is the perfect knife for the job, this. It's one of our dinner knives. And it's serrated there, but pay no heed to that. The end of it is rounded and it works wonderfully. It's really good. Thanks, Miss Strav. That's Mr. F's ruler as well. I don't want to have that. I'll get into trouble. So I've got a scoreboard, so I'm putting it on there and I'm marking it every half inch. This is quite thick, this card. It came in an assortment pack from uh, Paper Mill Direct. So half an inch, one inch, one and a half inches. And then at two, and that's your final score, at two. Right, let's have a look then. So all we need to do is accordion fold it. Thank you very much for my brew. So I'm going to take the first one and fold it in. As I say, this is quite thick card and I hope it doesn't crack. It doesn't look like it's cracking. No, yeah, looks good. So I've folded that in, so I'm going to just um, burnish it down. If you haven't got a bone folder, a pair of uh, scissor handles will do any scissors. They would do. Just do that and you'll crease it down. And then back on itself, like an accordion, and try and get that fairly straight if you can and go on get tucked in there 
that's fine. Fold that, crease that in place. Other way again. And this is a gusset. What we are making is a gusset. And one, no, that's it. That's the end. So I need to cut where that final score mark is. If you're short of uh, paper or card or whatever, you just need a two inch wide piece. That's, that's all. I can't find my scissors, here we go. So I'm just gonna cut it that, on that final crease line, which is two inches. So the whole thing is two inches wide and it's folded at half an inch, one inch, one and a half, and I'm cutting it off here on the two. And I sound quite authoritative on this, and I can assure you I'm not. <laughs> so I'm kind of hoping that uh, it works. I think it will. Right. So that's that. Here's what it's going on to. Now, you want it to come up to the top here, but there's no point it coming to the bottom. It's never going to open like that. So you don't really need to stick it right to the bottom. But yes, to the top would be nice. So that's the, and I'm just going to allow half to three quarters of an inch there and cut that off. And then I want the other one to be the same. And chop that off too. So there we are, we've got two gussets that are going to go like this. No, like that is how they're going to go. The, the cut edge, the single edge goes to the inside and that gets stuck to the outside. So when you look at it, it's, it's nice. That's what you see. So I had a play this morning just to make sure I was right. And that's what it ends up with when you do it this way. So it's quite neat, quite neat and tidy. So that, so what I'm saying is that the cut edges face the inside. Okay. Um, and they get glued down, down there, starting at the top. And then you might just want to leave a smidge of this showing. And I'm, I mean the merest smidge because sometimes your creases, I mean this one here, that one's sticking out a little bit and I don't want, I don't want to see it when it's done. So I'm just going to, it's nothing. It's a smidge. Um, and I'm also, I think I'm going to cut this off at the top like that, just in a V, as you would with a normal gusset. At the bottom it doesn't matter about. Right, so that's that. It's going there. I'm going to put some glue on it. Hi, Michelle. Happy Hi, Michelle. New Year. I haven't seen you for a while. Happy New Year. You missed the toadstools yesterday. I even commented that if Michelle was here, she'd like the toadstools. But it doesn't matter. Right, so I've glued that. And I'm going to stick it to the top and just the merest smidge in from the edge. Okay. And I'm just going to put some clips in that just to help it on its way while we do the other one. Clip. Clip. And then we do the same to the other side. Uh, the cut edges go in. So I just want to cut this little angle off here. It'll just look nicer when it's finished. Now you see what I'm doing here with this envelope. I don't expect you to make an envelope at all really. The theme is a green theme. If you want to make a green envelope, that's great. Make a green envelope. But if you want to do trees and lawn or 
I don't know anything that's green. A barrage balloon. Do what you do. What you fancy doing? Snooker table. Snooker table. Brilliant. Yeah. You know, just. Um... Then you can put pockets in the corner. <laughs> Excellent. This is just my idea. You're very welcome to follow along if you want to. And if you're not familiar with how to do these, you know, it's a good idea maybe to follow along. You'll get some, maybe pick up some tips. I don't know. So same here, up to the top. Cut edges facing in and just the merest smidge, merest smidge out from uh, the cut edge of the of this. So. Green fish is made. Oh, you know what that means. Naughty step. Naughty step for you. I don't even know if we've got any Christmas goodies left on the on the naughty step. I think they've probably all been demolished by the other people who were inhabiting the naughty step. <laughs> right. Um, I think I'm going to round these corners here. Uh, not for any other reason than I just think they might look quite nice. I'm just going to get my corner folder out, uh, corner folder, corner punch out, just round those off. Just look a little bit better. And um, I've cut them, so I'm inking them. That's the rule. You cut it, you ink it. They look a bit odd, actually, if you don't, because everything else is inked. There we go. Right, OK. So I reckon it's now time. The time has come to stick the other side. Now you've kind of got to do both of these together because you haven't got enough room to get in. Actually with this one, I might have enough room, but with the general size ones that you do, you've got to do them both together. So let's take the clips off. Let's be brave. Let's pretend that we're not scared at all that, this, that I'm going to look like a Charlie again. Oh, don't squeeze so hard, woman. Be told. So that's one. I'm going to have to turn this round in a second. I can only work one way, which is a kind of left-handed way, obviously. Right. Well, we've got glue on there, put the top of my bottle. Right, so I'm going to kind of hold these in at the bottom, fold it up and then all the way up the sides. Let's hope that they look okay. Yeah, I think they look okay. I'm going to clip those. Just to help them on the way. Got an itchy nose again, Hilda. Hilda. Oh, she looked up itchy nose for me on Google. And it happened, apparently it happens if you're stressed or have anxiety. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm stressed. <laughs> Let me have a mouthful of coffee while I consider my options. Right, so that's that. Needs a string on, obviously. What am I going to do with this number three? I don't really want it to be green. I'm just going to ink around it and see, see what that does to it. Might just make it stand out. Oh, it's going to be awkward one to ink this. Awkward. Miranda's suggesting I make one for my take fives. Why not? I'm not sure when he's going to get access to the table because between my take fives and January daily, <laughs> it's not, not a great deal of spare time. We'll be ending up putting three videos a day out. Well, thank you, Jean and Janya. They like my take fives. Oh, I like your take fives. I don't know if that's... I'm still too behind. I know you are, but you've got the concept in your head, haven't you? That doesn't stand out that well, does it really? Um, I think I'm going to have to paint it. In which case, let's paint it now. 
I, I don't think. Oh, emboss it with embossing powder. Mm. Yeah, good actually. Let's do that. Or foil. No, foil is not going anywhere near embossing powder. Or oh, with green jackal paint. Yeah, I know, but I like the embossing now you've said it. Um, Me and my big mouth. Embossing. I did have all this lot out this morning uh, to see if I could get the foil stuff to work. Um, and it's no surprise <laughs> that I couldn't. And Leslie would like to know if you did them back to back, could you make an accordion file? Yeah, I guess you could, couldn't you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Can't see any I don't see any not. reason why not, Leslie. But you know what I always say, give it a try. I thought I had some silver out. This is silver tinsel. But no, never mind, it'll be it'll be good enough. It'll be fine, it'll be all all right. Now then I've got a piece of paper from my earlier exploits today. Um I've got my embossing dabber. I've got silver tinsel embossing stuff. That's all I need, isn't it? I think so. Right, so I'm gonna put some embossing stuff on here. This better work because it's the only three I've got. And I don't want um, to have to cut another set out. Right, so let's put my, let's move that, otherwise it's all gonna to stick together. Some tweezers somewhere, but who knows where? Who knows where? Megan says hi. Hi, Megan. Oh, I'll keep. To, I'm going to have to find my scissors. I think. Right, my, my um, tweezers. I meant to say. Yeah, I keep missing bits out every time I touch it. So I'm going to have to look for my tweezers, which are on this table somewhere. I'm going to find some of this. There's some on my table. It's an organised life, isn't it, people? And I was organised because I was doing it this morning. Well, it's me, I'm living. Thank you. Right, so... Let's just hold it there. Give it another good go in it. Okay. Put that down there, put all my stuff away. You can always emboss it twice. Yeah, I can always emboss it twice if it turns out to be a disaster. Right, heat gun. I have a new Tim Holtz heat gun on its way to me. Yay! And then I'll try the foiling trick again. But I'll try it to myself first. This is silicon, this pink mat. Um, just to protect beautiful Hilda's uh, blue board. It's not called that. There we go, it's going, it's going, it's going. Yay. It's so exciting, isn't it, when embossing stuff goes. Yeah, I think that's absolutely fine. I'll try it again now where it's uh, where I want it to go and we'll see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's nice. Let me see if I can hold it up so you can see it. See, twinkly. Yep, that'll do me. That's grand. Good. Uh, I'll stick that on later just in case I want to stick it somewhere else. Right, I'm going to take these clips off. Um, if it hasn't stuck yet, it's well on its way, so we'll be all right like that. So we've 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 got an envelope, guys. We've we've actually got an envelope that's going to go on the on the book page. Come, sir. 
and yay look at that that looks nice doesn't it but <laughs> why would we leave it at that quit while you're ahead oh no so what i have are some <laughs> oh come on where are they Not butterflies, I've got plenty of those. Um, where did I put them? Ah, here we are. I have got these and they are um, pearlescent paper look and they're uh, cut out with a die and then r run through the embossing thing. So I just want to see if I can use these. Just wondering if hmm. just think they're all a bit big. Cut them down. I think they're all a bit big. Could you please cut them down? Just one thing less, I think. One thing less on one of the big ones, two things less on the other big one, and one thing less on the wee one. Thank you. Yeah, here's the embossing folder that I used. It's from Dar 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 Rice, Dar Rice, and it's um, like uh, dandelion clocks, you know, that you blow off, and flowers. And it's it's only a small one, but it's perfect for what I wanted it for. So the next thing is, I'm going to put a uh, some words on. I'm I'm feeling this Tim Holtz business today. So um, today is full of possibilities. That's pretty good, isn't it? I'm just having a look what you're saying. Just had roast beef and Yorkshire puddings. Oh, do you know? That's just not fair. Not fair. Do you know what I'm having tonight? Fish cakes. Mm -hmm. it says something, doesn't it? Creativity takes courage. Yes, I think that is very true as well. Trust your heart. Be authentic. Yeah, good one as well. Found. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know I was lost. Take the scenic route. I really love take the scenic route. It's what I do all the time. It's what you watch me do all the time. I watch other people's videos and they come together like magic. You know, I just take this bit of paper and that bit of paper and they all seem to be cut to size and they're all inked. And then you watch me and I'm nothing like that. Take the scenic route. I, re I do really like that one. Lucky is a state of mind. I don't know. I think maybe not. Curiosity. Follow your heart. Use your wings. Thank you, my darling. That's wonderful. Let's move these off. But I'm going to keep take the scenic route. And today is full of possibilities out because... Um, I might use either of those, might use none of them. Who knows? Right, so let's have a look where I can put that. Um, yeah, they're nice, aren't they? Now they're smaller. Smaller a bit. Yeah, so they're not interfering with the top. And they're all different sizes, which I like. So what I thought was I could uh, stick those on and then put some butterflies on them. I quite like that really. I quite like that idea. Um, I think this this one's just too big. <laughs> I keep getting them out and it's just too big. Um, I'm going to have to create something at some stage that's got a giant butterfly or several on actually. Would that go on there? No, he's too big. Um, that one. Oh, that, look, that looks all right. And I just need a smaller one for him in the middle. So I'm rootling through my box of butterflies here. I have got quite a lot, but I do use quite a lot. So come on. I think those three look OK. I'll carry on looking because that's what I do. Let's try that one on there. That's probably a better size. 
if I had to say. It's just no, I'm just down to the pink ones now, I think, at the bottom. Yeah, okay. Um not that there's anything wrong with the pink ones. I love them, but maybe not today. Right, okay. Let's put that away in the drawer it belongs in before they end up spilt everywhere. <sighs> Right, the other thing that I've got that I thought that I could perhaps... Let's just pretend they're all stuck down, right? And that there's three stuck onto there as well. The other thing I've got are these set of butterfly punches. I've never really used them in anger. I bought them because, I've just said, I love butterflies. Um, and I do use them quite a lot. So I've cut one out. But, oh no, I was going to say I thought he was lost in action. He's here. I cut it out of that really shiny card because I thought that it might just, I might could get a couple of butterflies around the place. Because this looks a bit blank, doesn't it, with nothing on. So if I move that over there, yeah. I think the thing to do is proceed in an orderly direction and stick these on. I'm not going to ink round them. Um, I might ink round the butterflies, but not the circles, because brown on this pearlescent green is not pretty. It doesn't look very pretty. It was in my Christmas, load of Christmas stuff. Mr F found it, because obviously it's green on one side and red on the other, so it's perfect for Christmas. But it's also perfect for this. So I'm just going to put that there. Just caress it into place. <laughs> oh God. I think I've lost the plot entirely. I want this down a little bit because I don't want them in line. So yeah, okay. You have to be careful when you've embossed things, particularly thin paper like this. It uh, it can crack on you, and this one has cracked. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm going to glue it flat, so it, it'll be fine. But just take care. And if you're doing thicker card or whatever, give it a spritz of water. Uh, just one of these little spray bottles I got from the chemist. Just spritz it, and it'll just relax the fibres a little bit, so it won't split on you. So I'm going to put that there. And caress it, caress it, and caress it. There we are. And then this fella, yeah, I don't want it in line with that. So as long as it's not in line with the buttons, we're all right. I'll have it just over to that side a little bit, like that. Yep, that's fine. I'm sure you can come up with loads better suggestions, but I quite like the look of this. Just a little, little, little caress. Right, so let's get on to the sticking the butterflies. This is the smallest one. I am going to ink around these. Just take that white off them. These are Tim Holtz die cuts, and some of them in the box are really the shabby die cuts. That's all I can say to you. Right, let's get him glued on. I'm being assertive now all of a sudden. Right, there we go. I'll just have it down there at a bit of an angle, just inside the circle. That will be fine. And then this big one. I 
bent his antenna, but never mind, it's going to be stuck down, so it'll be all right. Are they still talking about food? Uh, no, she has always said it's a birthday week coming up. Oh, is she it? She gets excited, it's a rubbish time of the year for a birthday. Yeah, I guess it is really. Everybody's been carousing, shall I say. That's a good word, isn't it? They've been carousing and now they're caroused out and then your birthday comes along and it's like, yeah, what? I love my birthday. This is the most special day of the year. Two days after yours, Julie. Actually. So I'll pop that on there. So have to ensure that you get a good contact with the with any paper or card that you've embossed because really you're only making contact with the top of the embossed bit. So make sure you've got a good a good fix on it. And then this little one. I love this. I think this is my favourite butterfly of all in the uh, Tim Holtz set. Really, really nice. So I can't wait to see what you do with the green theme. Um, and Esther, I hope it's suitable for your little ones. That one there. Oh, it's looking nice. But like I say, it does not have to include an envelope or butterflies or anything. This is just my green theme. Should you, however, wish to practice making an envelope with the string and button enclosure, that's great, do it. I can't wait to see what you do. So, yeah, I'll have him like that. There we go. There we are. Right. So. She has got a request. Could you do a live on Thursday for a birthday? <laughs> it's the birthday live. <laughs> um, it's like, like booking a clown for your kid's birthday. Party. It's exactly that. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Um, let's think. Just check my diary with my social engagements in. Mm. Yes, I can do a live on Thursday. I look forward to it. Right, so can you can you see that? It's all shiny and quite nice. I quite like it. Uh, so, with the other butterflies. Let's put the lid on the glue while I think. Do I want to put one of these on? I probably just used up all the space that I had for putting them on, actually. Oh, I could just about get that on the bottom. Take the scenic route. <laughs> Which amuses me, I don't know why. Yeah, I'm going to stick that on, I like it. I'm going to ink round it though, because it's a bit stark. With these um, January Daily, you can challenge yourself to just, you know, not buying anything to do it with. I think that's quite good, really, because I have got so many bits and bats of various things that, you know, I can't make a journal with them because there's not enough, so I'd have to buy something else. Um, or, you know, scraps or anything like that. So I, I think it's quite a good idea not, not to buy stuff. If you've got it, it's fair game. Even if it's brand new, it's fair game. Ooh, upside down, that would be taking the scenic route. I'm just going to put that there. I think that's square or you square. Yeah, I think so. I'm just going to hold that for a minute. Put the lid on the glue. Put today's full of possibilities away. Maybe tomorrow will be full of possibilities. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Could be. I'm just going to hold this for a second because um, I don't want it to ping off.
I think it should be okay. Right, what am I going to do with these little ones? Do I like them or not? I think it probably does need something to bring it together, to be honest with you. I'm going to use my largest one. I have two others. <gasps> what are you thinking, Mr. F? I can hear your brain worrying. I like them. I'm not sure I like the green, especially the shiny green. Okay. What do you think? Well, I don't know. I just. I'm coming round. You're coming round, are you? I, th I think I do actually quite like them. I'm going to cut some smaller ones out as well. I've got the punch. Why not? You don't put it flat on the table. I'll never know. Because it would be like that. You don't need to see where you do it. Do you? you do. Because you need it as near the edge as possible so you're not wasting paper. Right, so I've got some little ones now. A little one up there maybe would look quite nice with a three. Got the big one. Also needs to go on the top just to consolidate. That's the word, to consolidate. I've got this big one that doesn't really have a home. Mm. I think I only want three. So... Let's move that big one, put that one in, because I've already bent his wings up. I don't think it needs any more than that. Once you start adding more, it starts looking like a child's project, <laughs> which it does a little bit anyway. Right, so what I did, and what I'm going to do with these ones is, can I borrow your ruler again, please? I just, thank you, I put the ruler up against the where the wing starts and the body starts and I just took it and bent it up like that same on the other side and once you've bent it I know it's going in a book and it's going to go flat but it does sort of remember and it doesn't lie really flat ever again so the because it's in twinkly pearlescent card it will catch the light so you see we've bent the wings up and the body is flat and that's where we're going to glue it I'm just going to do the same thing to this, just where the wings start and where the head starts sort of thing. Bend it up against the ruler. Any straight edge will do, just this is a good one to see. Like that. Oh yeah, sorry about the end of yesterday's when Bobby decided to take us all out. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. F. So I'm just uh, going to stick these on. That's kind of it really, isn't it? There and there and there. Oh, I don't know why I've got anything over there now. I, I think that's fine. I've got my three. I've got my three. Nancy should be happy because <laughs> we're all in threes. I'm going to stick this on first, the uh, number. Janya says, hi, Bobby. Hi, Janya. <laughs> He's got a deep voice, hasn't he? For a little then. For a little then. Oh, that might be a bit low. That's fine. Jen says, hi. Hi, Jen. Thanks for joining us. I loved your fun guy yesterday. I really did. I loved it. It tickled me for a long time. So I'm just going to glue down the, the body of the butterfly and stick it down. And you'll, you'll see, if I'd left it till it was stuck, you'll see that the, um, the wings want to come up, not as much as we've just bent them, but do want to come up. Um, that's fine. These little ones here. There's not much of them, is there? Let's pop them on like that and they'll soon 
Okay, where was this one going to go? Up here somewhere, was it? I think so. I can't remember. I think that's enough. If it falls off, I'll put more on. I just don't want to catch that with that. Okay. Right, okay. There we go, nice and shiny and glittery. Right, so now what we need to do is stick this into our page. I've done all the work that I'm going to do on it. So it just needs to get stuck on. And then we need to put the string on, yeah, that's a good point. So, this needs to be glued fairly securely because you'll be sort of pulling against it to get things in and out the envelope. So you could use double-sided if you wanted. A belt and braces approach, which is nothing wrong with that. Kathleen's in by. It's thought it's now, so she's got to go shopping. Oh, okay, Kathleen. Well, stay safe, please. So it's just in from the side of the paper, just up from there. Let's just drag that down so I can just see a little bit of the paper. Right. So I just need to press this down, really without doing any damage to any of the bits I've put on the top. Yeah. Pushing, pushing, pushing. <laughs> oh, poor Sharon, she's gone, she's got to go to work. And she's going to miss the lives. They'll be on catch up though. They'll be on catch up, yeah. You know, they'll be on my YouTube channel. I've started putting them into a watch list. So wow. A, a watch list. Playlist. Sp playlist specifically for January dailies. Indeed. Right, so I think that's probably going to be stuck. I think so anyway. So now we, let's have a look and see if the gussets work. <laughs> At this time of day. Oh my goodness, let's hope so. Yeah, look at that. That's fabulous. If I hold it up, you can see, look. See, flat. Gusset. Flat. Gusset. How's it go? It goes flat. Gusset. <laughs> oh dear, anyway. That's that. Is the only thing left now, the string, before I completely lose my mind? I think so. Right, I've got to see if I can find some string. Um, yeah. Linda says hi. Hi, Linda! <laughs> hey? She knows she's late. <laughs> Don't seem to have a naughty step today. It's usually the floor, Jen, that organises the naughty step. Right, so what you do is this. You get your twine all the way under all your circles. Like that. Make sure it's under all of them. And then tie yourself. I've got a bit too much here, but never mind. Also, this string twine is quite thick, but it'll be fine. So one knot like that, and then one knot like a reef knot, the other over the other under. <laughs> you know what I mean? At least I hope you do. Right, so that's that. And you cut off the wayward end. So I'm going to bend it up a little bit so I can get in and cut that off. Right, there we go. And then it just kind of winds round. Like that. I mean, it's like magic, really. And just round there, and that's it. And then you just cut it off. Actually, yeah, you cut it off. 
but I'm going to put a knot in it because this twine looks like it might be uh, keen to unravel on me and I don't want that so I'm going to I've left it longer because I'm hopeless at tying knots in little short ends of stuff. Jenny says when she's making hers all she's going to have in her head is you saying shut cuss it shut. <laughs> In fact, it might be my new ringtone. <laughs> oh, no. Right, so there we are. Actually, that's looking a bit slack on the first one. If, if you can't get under your um, little washer things, you know, the smaller ones, just put your um, bone folder in and don't push it up, but just make sure that there is room under there. Same with this one. So you can easily get your um, twine around it like that there we are right there we have it that is my completed day three which you can hardly see because it's so shiny um, and it's butterflies all the way on a big envelope now this is my green theme, eh? is green green? theme yes mm -hmm. it's a green theme and it is green so um, let's open this up once again <laughs> and see if my actual green theme take five that I did. She might remember I used structure paste and then embossing powder on it. Um, so let's see if that fits in there. Oh, yes, look at that. Good job we've got gussets though, definitely. That fits in great. So th this is what it's for. It's for putting your... Um, take fives in so there's the first of the take fives in its new home let's tie it all up so it's nice and straight nice and safe there we are there you have it guys my day three it's not the fanciest is it really but it's quite pretty right okay that's me done dog hasn't knocked us over i will be back tomorrow which will officially be monday and will be the 4th of January. So it's day four for our uh, December daily, uh, January daily even. So we've done the shabby chic. That was that prompt there. This prompt here was toadstools and mushrooms, which I'm quite fond of that page. And then this one here was a green theme. So that's all, that's all you have to do. You can use doilies, stamps, dies die cuts anything you like as long as overall the page has a green theme okay so i crack on with it peeps because i really want to see what you've done it's it's amazing sometimes i haven't been on for a little while and mr ethel go and say have you seen such in the ones oh no let's have a look so right i'll see you tomorrow thanks for joining me really 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 appreciate it i like jen's with mike in it you like Jens with Mike in it? Yeah. Yeah, the fun guy. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Um, and so we'll be on to the next page tomorrow. Which hasn't got a... Oh, there's a loose leaf between that one and that one, so I can decide whether I want to use it on that page. Like that sort of thing, or leave it for this page. Anyway, that's, that's tomorrow's troubles, not today. Okay, so there we go. Thanks a lot. Bye, guys. Take care out there. Bye. See you tomorrow. Take care.